everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be many things. I'm going to be doing a updated Reborn collection video and then I'm going to be talking about controversy with my twins and stuff about my Paradise Galleries doll. So this is a pretty important video so please make sure you stay through the whole video because it's very important to make sure you share this with your friends because I just like everyone to be in the know about what's happening. So anyways, let's get right into the video. We're gonna be starting with my um, collection. So any dolls you see are clearly the ones that I have and if you don't see them, I don't have them anymore. So we have Laura, she's the Ariana Awake toddler kit by Riva Schick and she was painted by Mia Maria's nursery. And then we have Lane and he is the Katie Marie toddler. Um, by, I'm blanking, oh, by Ann Timmerman. And he was also painted by Mia Maria's Nursery. Then this is Landon. He is the Abby kit by AK Kitagawa, I think is how you say it. And he was made by Stephanie and Love Be Born 2011. Then right here we have Bridget. She is the Sunny kit by Joanna Kazmierczak. And she was made by Jacqueline Donahue. And I got her on eBay. I got him from Stephanie and I got them from Instagram. This is Shane and he is the Nile by Phil Donnelly. And he was painted by Stephanie. So I got him from Stephanie as a gift for Christmas um, last year. And I got Lane as a gift for Christmas this year. Then this is Sailor. She is the indie kit by Laura Lee Eagles. I got her at the Rose Doll Show in 2017. So I actually don't know how to say her artist's name. I don't remember her artist because she is from Spain, but she's very beautiful. Then we have Holden. He is the um, Ethan by Nicole Russell, and he's prototype number one painted by Nicole Russell, and his kit is also by Nicole Russell. So that's very cool. This is Ren. She is the Blessing by Marita Winters, and I painted her at the Rose Doll Show last, well, in 2017. So she was the like first reborn that I made. And this is Caleb, he was my very first reborn. And he is the Rosebud by Cindy Musgrove and he was made by Custom Reborn. I got him on eBay. Oh, and I got Holden on eBay as well. And then this is Cody, he is the Ashley Asleep Reelborn from Bountiful Baby. I painted him and he's very cute. And then this is Shiloh. She's the Saskia by Bonnie Brown. She was made by Stephanie and um, I won her in Stephanie's painted kit giveaway that she had over the summer. She's very beautiful. And this is uh, Lucas, and he is the Asher Awake Reelborn, and I painted him. And then we have my twins. So we have the new Raylan and new Ryan, and they are twin A and twin B by Bonnie Brown. They are painted by Tiny Creations by Kim and I got them on Instagram from her. And um, yeah, they're so cute. And then last but not least, we have right here, this is James. He's like a China, like fake reborn kit that I painted um, a long time ago before I knew how to paint and I painted him with acrylic paints. He's terrible, I don't like to talk about James. So that's James, I just thought I'd include him. And then we have my Paradise Galleries dolls Paisley, she's my original. She will remain in my collection as a keepsake. She's just very cute. And this is Nicole. Um, oh, and she is Cuddle Bear Bella from Paradise Galleries. And then this is Penelope and Willow, and her name is Nicole, and she was gifted to me from my friend Nicole. So I have her in my collection. I'm gonna be talking about my Paradise Galleries dolls first. So as you can see, there are only two in my collection, which is Paisley and Nicole. I'm just gonna hold Paisley for the time being. So you're probably wondering where all my other Paradise Galleries went because I had probably 15 and now I'm down to two. So you're probably wondering where they went. So um, a while ago, before I got Bridget, I decided that my nursery was getting really crowded anyways and I just wasn't really using them and I just felt bad for the dolls and I wanted them to go places where they would be used and loved a lot more. Of course I loved them, I just didn't use them that much and I just felt bad because these dolls should be played with and they should be 
taken care of. Well, of course they were being taken care of, but they weren't really being played with, and I wanted them to be used. So I sold them, and I made a lot of little girls very happy to have some of my old dolls, and they are in such good places now, and I'm very happy for all of my dolls. And I'm glad that I made that decision because I feel really good about selling them because it was very sad for me. It was an emotional time packing them up and shipping them off. It did make me very sad, but I felt good doing it because I knew they were going places where they would be used a lot more and they would just be loved so much by new mommies. So that is my what's about my paradise gallery. So we just have Paisley and Nicole here. I'll try and do videos with them every once in a while, more, uh, mostly Paisley, because that's what people want to see. I'll probably try and do one with her tomorrow, because um, why not? She's very cute, and I do want to still include them. They just won't be used as much, but that is my update on Paradise Gallery's dolls. So again, the only ones I have are Paisley and Nicole, and the other ones have all been sold, and they are at new loving homes where they will be used a lot more. Now for the controversy about my twins. So I'll just grab Raylan right here. So a lot of people have been mad that I sold my other twins. And some people are saying, don't sell them. It's not that. They have already been sold. It's not like I can turn back on it. They've already been sold. I mean, they are still here. They're right over there in the other room. They're just not wearing any clothes right now because I need to get stuff to send them home in. But they are right here. Um, they're going to be shipped off soon. They're being paid off on Monday, and so I will ship them as soon as I can so they can go to their new mom who is loving them already so much. I decided to sell them for a lot of reasons. There's nothing wrong with them. They're absolutely beautiful. They're in perfect condition just the way they came to me. I just wasn't feeling that bond anymore, and I felt that way about some of my other dolls like Toby. I wasn't really bonding with him after the first week of getting him, so... Uh, we sold him, me and Abby, we like worked together to sell him because he was a giveaway baby, so um, I didn't pay for him, I only paid for his kit. So I helped Abby sell him, I got the kit price back and she got the rest for the painting. He actually just arrived home today and he's being loved so much at his new home already and I'm really happy that he left. I love the Levi kit, but Toby, it just, he just wasn't for me, his, I don't know why. I just wasn't bonding the way I had hoped I would bond, so I'm glad that he's somewhere where he's being so loved already. He just got there today and he's already being so loved and I can already tell that she's going to really enjoy him. And she changed his name to Wyatt. So I sold him and I wasn't feeling the bond. I sold Gabe as well because I also wasn't feeling the bond with him. And I hadn't really thought that I lost the bond with my twins, but after realizing how much I hadn't been using them as I used to, I realized the bond was lost. And I tried to get the bond back, but it just didn't feel right having the twins. To me, they were kind of like an impulse buy because I was supposed to get a, a beautiful twin A on eBay from SAH Dollmaker, but not directly from her. It was uh, like an eBay, so like a second hand. I would have been like the second mom. And so... I was supposed to get that and um, that was about a year ago and that got, I don't even know what happened with that but the lady found out somehow that I was like 14 at the time and she didn't want to sell her doll to a child so she cancelled it and decided to keep the doll and I was really upset about that and so I kind of just bought the first ones that I found. They are very beautiful. They're very well painted. They're so cute and I really love them. They're in perfect condition. I just, I feel like I kind of just got them just because and so I feel like my bond with them isn't as strong as it would have been if I had like not just got them because they were like the first ones that I found and so I lost the bond with them and that's one reason I wanted to sell them. It took a lot of thinking and I think a lot of courage to decide to sell them and I thought for many days about selling them and I knew it was the right choice for me and I am happy that I sold them because I am really happy with my new twins. I just feel like I needed some different ones 
in my collection. I love the Twin A and Twin B, and I know there's been a lot of controversy about me keeping the same names. I was going to change their names, but after like picking out names and looking at their pictures, I just couldn't do it. Raylan and Ryan are the only names I can see for these kits, and so I just like, I feel like they just need to be Raylan and Ryan for me. I know it's kind of weird having Raylan and Ryan 2.0, but um, it's just what I feel is best. And I just want to put it out there that my happiness is what is most important to me, and selling them made me happy because now I have new twins that are making me very, very happy. My Don't get me wrong, my other twins made me extremely happy, and I really did love them a lot, and I still do. I just... It just wasn't the same, and so it was time for them to move on, and I knew it was. So, I forget what I was about to say. You can see I'm getting pretty emotional. It's, it's hard choosing to sell my babies. Um, but I'm very happy with my new twins, and um, like I said, um, my happiness is what is most important to me, and... I just want it to be clear that I will not keep a doll just to make my fans happy. I love my fans and you guys know that. I appreciate all of you and how far we've come. I would not be where I am today if it weren't for any of you guys. Um, this has been an amazing journey of three plus years so far going into the fourth year in April and <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> but I just want to say that I will not keep any dolls to make my fans happy. I, of course, want to make you guys happy, but my happiness is what is most important to me. And so I know that you guys love those dolls as well as I did, but I will not be keeping them just because you guys want to see videos with them. I have new twins that are making me so happy, and I hope everyone can understand my, um... Sorry, hold on. I just hope everyone can see my point of view and understand what I'm feeling and just everything that's been going through my mind. I've been getting a lot of hate about selling the twins, um, people unfollowing my Instagram, unsubscribing from my YouTube, and wishing bad things upon me, but it doesn't matter. You can not support me anymore if you want because of the dolls. It is kind of a stupid reason to not support someone because there are doll collectors that sell their dolls every day, every week, every month, and they're still well supported and loved. I don't understand why it's any different for me, and it does upset me a lot that people will... I've had people saying they wish that I would die because I am selling my twins, and that's just not something that should be happening in the doll community. The doll community is supposed to be a happy place, um, it's supposed to bring joy to everyone and when people get upset about other people's collections and their own happiness, it does not bring joy to others in the community and that's not what we want. I hope the doll community can grow and mature to the point where we will not be mad and sad at others for selling dolls and be happy that they are being strong enough to sell their dolls, have the courage to decide that the doll is no longer what they need in their collection because it's a really hard choice. And I know in the past I have said I will never sell my dolls, but that's not true for anyone. Even if you say that, you know it's not true. You will eventually sell your dolls for one reason or another. And I just hope that the doll community will grow and mature and everyone will just be happy and there will not be so much drama as there has been lately. The doll community used to be such an amazing place and it still is. There's just lots of little flaws that can get to people. So I know this has kind of turned into like an emotional video. This was supposed to be a collection update but I really wanted to talk about these things a lot mostly about the twins because I've been getting so much controversy and frankly a lot of hate and I just wanted to bring it all up, bring it to everyone's attention, address everything, and just clear everything up. So, like I said, if you really don't want to support me anymore, that's your choice. 
thank you for supporting up until now, and I hope that you are happy with your decision and enjoy the rest of your time in the doll community. And to everyone who is, has been and continues to support me, I thank you so much, and I really appreciate all my fans. And I'm just so grateful for everything you guys have done for me, and I'm just really glad to be where I am today, and I couldn't have done it without all of you guys. So, that, I think this is going to be the end of my video. Uh, this is probably going to be raw, uncut, because I feel like this is very important for everyone in the community. And, um, yeah, so that's my collection, my updates on my Paradise Galleries, and my updates on my twins. And that's all for now. Um, thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe. And, um, I don't know, in the comments let me know how you feel. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.